This method can help answer key questions in hepatotropic infections and liver disease fields, such as the contribution of liver resident cell populations to viral pathogenesis, longitudinal infection kinetics, mechanisms of viral replication, immune evasion in a physiological model system and drug testing studies. The main advantage of this technique is the ability to recapitulate a hepatic microenvironment, which can be maintained for extended periods of time and is naturally susceptible to hepatitis B infection at physiological relevant levels. This has previously been a fundamental constraint in the hepatitis B field. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy or diagnosis of HPV infection because drug testing studies can be performed in a physiological platform for extended durations. This allows the evaluation of sequential drug treatments alongside with analyzing the efficacy of existing and novel treatment strategies. This method can provide understanding into hepatitis B and can also be applied to other studies of disease, including other hepatotropic infections, liver diseases or drug metabolism studies. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because it requires attention to particular details to allow the successful maintenance of liver tissue for long periods of time and also familiarization with the specialized tools and equipment. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, including assembly of the plates as well as thawing and seeding of the cells, since steps involved in the long-term culture of liver-derived cells are challenging when using a novel culture system. First, turn on both the compressor and the vacuum pump associated with the liver chip platform. Proceed to a Class II cabinet to assemble and equilibrate the plates. Place a sterile membrane on the plate base to begin aseptically assembling the microfluidic plates, making sure that the sterile membrane